Alright guys, this is part 3 of the smoker build and we've got the firebox done. It's all quarter inch plate. Uh, we got we put the bottom down first, then the back side is back in there. Um, you see the walls are tapered. And we did the back, cut the angle that it needed to be, used that length to find what the sides are going to be cut those to put them on there and then once the sides were cut and installed we used the cutoff pieces from the back to make the angle and used it for these front pieces that go from the side panel to the door flange um, used the stick welder on it because it's quarter inch thick we've got a little cheap MIG welder right now we may be upgrading to a Miller 252 here in the future um, but right now we're rolling with what we got so we've got MIG welds on a lot of the tubing uh, around here stick welds on the quarter inch and then we're going to do some TIG welds up top where the sheet metal is going wrapping around the outside um, you can see where I've had to cut a couple of the welds here but I also did get the bottom of the water pan tacked in so that will be the bottom of the water pan slash grease trap um, drip pan and it will also be the bottom of the smoker itself we've got to do a little bit of grinding to get a snug fit on these side panels wanted to cut it close with the plasma and then grind a fit that that top cut doesn't look too great so we're probably gonna flip that over because that was a freehand side we've got a torch track which you can set the speed on it and I'll try to get a picture of that and put it in here and you can put the plasma on there and you get this really nice cut and it's just even and straight very consistent it just takes a little while to set up so when I just had two cuts to make I just kind of free handed it with a straight edge and my feet is not nearly as smooth as what that is so that's probably going to flip over so we don't see that or we may just grind it down smooth not real sure but we've got a little bit better show at some of the details here and when this gets ground into fit it's going to come over to the edge of the water pan and then there's going to keep the one inch gap here and that's where the smoke and the heat's going to come from and we'll have a panel here on this tubing and then we'll have an inner panel here that's going to run all the way up the inner panel is going to come up on that one inch and stop about four inches from the top so that the smoke has to come up that channel over across in the smoker down and out the exhaust in the back everything else is going to have sheeting all the way around it so it's going to be not exactly airtight but tight enough to hold the smoke um, so I'll have an inner outer panel two inches of insulation like we talked about um, and hopefully we get started on some of that today and I got something to show you here in the next couple days I'll try to do an upload of something on Sunday night it's Saturday morning right now. Hopefully we have some decent progress made. Something to show you guys. Um, you guys got any questions? Just leave a message uh, or comment down below. And let me know. I'll be happy to answer anything. If you're something you guys want to see, something you want me to go over more, just let me know. Be happy to do it. Um, got a couple other projects too. I'll probably do a video about it, what the game plan is after. I've got a little tinker thing that I've been that I did a while back that I found that I thought was pretty cool, so I may do a video on that. Um, gonna go look at a trailer today. Heard rumors of one being nearby, so we'll go see what it looks like if it's gonna be heavy enough and what the price is. So, um, Yep, maybe this thing will be on wheels and have an inner skin on it next time you guys see it. But um, thanks for watching. We'll check back in here in a day or two. And if there's something I feel I need to put up, then I'll 
make a quick video and put it up there too. Thanks for watching.